Hello everyone, it's Gigabeef here and today we're talking about the best presets to use in the early game once you finally get access to Tarkov Arena. But before we dive into those, I want to show you the holy grail that I've been producing basically ever since I got access to Arena to prepare for the tournament. If you don't have access to the game yet, it can be difficult to figure out exactly what is going on inside the game because clearly you aren't able to look through the different presets and the wiki is putting up lists of the trees which is good but you can't see exactly what's going on inside. I know they're building it but at the moment that doesn't exist. Also once that's completed you still won't be able to search through it quite as easily I don't think. So what I've done is I've produced a Google Sheets with every single preset and what I think is the most important characteristics of each one. This will show you the name of the kit along with which tab it's on, how far down that tree it actually is and some important components as to what that kit actually contains within it. At the moment this is whether it has a headset or not, the stims that it comes with, the grenade, the primary weapon with the stats on ones where I thought it was relevant, the ammo and how much you get in the magazine the primary sight, the secondary pistol or gun that you get in your other slot and the ammo that comes with that. You also see the armor, the armor class, the durability because not all of them come full, the helmet and the armor class of the helmet and again the durability because a couple of those come damaged as well. Make a copy of this and you'll be able to search through and use filters to find the exact kits that are being used against you or maybe to find something that you want to grind towards without having to scour through every single loadout. So onto the presets themselves. As I said before the ratings aren't really useful because you have to get up to the next rank. So for me you start out with 1500. I've played 30 matches. I'm playing only solo queue so as you might imagine it's basically a 50% win rate unless you're a complete god at the game and I would need another 500 ARP. Even if you had a 70% win rate which is really quite unlikely in a 5v5 game if you're playing with completely random players that means that you have to play about 50 games to go up to the next rank I've only played 30 and as you can see my win rate is much lower than that Obviously, if you have a 50% win rating, you're literally never going to rank up at all and you'll never get to these other kits. So I don't think it's worth focusing on these. They also don't help you with the tree either. So let's just completely ignore them. Starting out with the very broad brush strokes, the assault kits typically get a frag grenade, the CQB get a flash, the scouts get most of the headsets and the marksman loadouts get most of the scopes. But this is definitely not a hard and fast rule and you do get a mixture of different things in different presets. It's also important to look at each tree and make sure that they do actually go down to the bottom to allow you to access high tier kits if you do somehow get that far. I mean it doesn't matter for most people I don't think but for example Merca you go down to section 8 Mortician and then Mantis but then that's it there's nothing across to the other kits while other people are able to level up all the way down to the bottom. Overall so far for my limited time playing I do think that this line in CQB is probably the most powerful kits to go for. Attic starts you off with an AK-505, this is one of the SAG AKs, yes it's semi-auto but you get a 45 round magazine off T which isn't the best, but you do get a class 3 armour that is partially damaged and sometimes the class 2 helmet can save you, most of the time I've just thrown this off my character if people are using anything with pen above 20, but sometimes it saved me against green tracer for example if I see that being used in the game then maybe I'll keep it on. After using Attic for a little bit you get into Raider which is much the same but you get an AKS-74UB instead which is actually pretty good recall to be honest and one advantage is if you run out of bullets you can normally pick up people's magazines from attic because it's the same. This one gets slightly better armor with a full class 3 so you're actually protected against certain bullets and the 3 BTG is good because you get the stamina recovery for 240 seconds of plus one as well as a bit of strength which is quite cool. Perception helps a little with hearing but I find that hearing's a little bit strange here especially after getting used to not having an earpiece. Once you're through on Raider, you then can go down to Blackjack, which is a really annoying class, especially if you are lower down the ARP like me, because I'm getting matched with people who are literally just starting the game. I'm about to unlock this and you get a 100 round mag. The ammo is really not very good. RRLP is only 18 pen and 63 damage, but that's made up for with the 100 round mag and the fact that you have a class 4 armor and also a class 3 helmet with a class 3 face shield too. After this, we then have a choice. We either go to Lima, which I would advise against just simply because it doesn't go anywhere afterwards. I mean, it is technically quite good, but only has 855 ammo in it. So I would avoid doing that. And we'll go to Centurion instead. There's an AK-103 with T45, which is absolutely fine. You get tons of ammunition, you get a full class four, and you also get a class four with a class three face shield. I am 99% certain that all of the stats in Tarkov are the same as in this game. So I think this is a bug and I think it just shows the armor class for the actual helmet as opposed to showing it for the helmet and the face shield separately. This is a bug. I really don't think that you're covered with eyes and jaws at tier 4, I think it's tier 3. So after this one you get to the extremely busted kit which is the Zenith kit which is the one with the alt in. People are just abusing other players with this as you might imagine because you get a reduced M which is class 5 and an alt in which is also class 5 so most players are just literally unable to kill you especially if you're playing in the lower ranks and you get an AK-105 with a 
150 rounder of BT, which gets through most other people's armor. So this one is probably pretty busted if you do manage to reach it. The other line that you can go down is this one, the Merca line. You can do this one. I don't think it's necessarily too bad, but it's mainly shotguns. I don't think it's really that good because you end up getting stuck down at Mantis. But you've got a pump action shotgun with the Piranha, which is not too bad at the beginning because it's a little bit like a baby version of the Shet. Then you get another pump with 50 BMG. And after this, you get Mortician, which is the Saga 12 with Rip. I don't really like this because, again, you have to shoot legs and stuff. I don't think this is really ideal. There's definitely other classes and presets that are better and other lines that are better, especially given that it gets blocked off. On the other side of CQB, you have the PPSH. I've really seen people doing well with this because you get, again, some huge magazines. Massive mags are really good in Arena because it's all close combat and you don't have to reload, which is just a huge benefit. Tactical, what put me off about this line is that this looks like a really amazing preset. You get a headset and a Class 4 helmet. The MMAC, which is slightly damaged, so it's not quite as good as Tier 4. But the problem is, is that you get a green tracer, which is only pen of 14. So a lot of the time, you're just going to be kind of doing Star Wars with people, firing off lots of green laser bullets all over the place, but not actually killing them, which is... I even ended up going toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy while I was using some of the regular presets from further down, like Raider, for example, because they can't pen your TV-115. So there's really... I don't really like Tactical that much at all. It gets a bit better with Bromine, but again, you've got M856. So the ammo is just like really lackluster in this until you get much further down. Cavalier is an amazing preset because you get the TTSK and an MPX with PvP, but this takes a long time to get to and there's a lot of grind to it. So I think most people are just better off going through this because in my opinion, it's just more fun. Assault is also not too bad. Guard with the SKS is all right. This side is basically shotguns. Again, watch out for Chappie. Don't bother going down this one. You get the TX-15 with M855 in it, but it doesn't lead to anything, so we can ignore this. Yeah, you, your choice is really regular rifles or shotguns. Stargazer starts with Fouchette, which is pretty good if you're accurate with the weapon. Farmer has an MP153, which is semi-auto, as we know, with Express, which you could take out people's legs very easily with. And it also has a full class 3, which also works quite well early on. The letter is one of those ones that I think is quite overpowered because you get AP20 slugs. So down at the low ARP levels, you just one-shot everybody and you've got a class 4 on. Full durability as well, by the way, so it's very hard to kill you. And you also have a full class 3 helmet as well. So they really have to hit you in the eyes or the jaws, otherwise you're not going to die. This one got graded recently with a Trihawk Prism three times, so even on the longer range maps you can compete with this and hit people at long range. After this you get a couple of different choices, one is Sector, the G36 with M856A1, this is very strong as well, class 4, slightly damaged but it's kind of okay, but this one is a little bit further down so it starts to become a bit more lackluster. After this, I mean, once you get down here, you'll probably figure out what's going on. Breeze is another flechette kit. This one is with a Benelli instead, so it's pump actions. And at this point, probably not that great. You do start getting some good ones like Tutan, Saiga 12, with flechette as well, with a hex grid, which is pretty nuts. But at this point, I think some of the other presets are probably better than this. Back at the top, we have Guard with an SKS, which is not actually too bad because you get US ammo, which is 29 penetration. And yes, it says you get a class 4 armor, but this is basically at half health. So this is really class 3. So don't let that fool you. But you do get a grenade with this kit, which is quite nice. Moving on from this one, you go to Ratnik, which is all right. You get a low recoil AK. This is an SAG. It's semi-auto, uh, but you do get PS ammo. So with a pen of 31, you're basically going to go through everybody else's armor and you get a slightly damaged class 3. I don't like this kit that much, but I guess it's all right. After this, you get Bunker, which was used quite a lot in the tournament simply because it has PS in it and it's also got a little optic and the recoil is relatively low but the TV 110 starts damaged you do get a grenade but it doesn't lead to anything either in the preset list so I'd avoid this if you're playing ranked instead we'll switch across to the RAM which is the VPO 136 with PS in it which is pretty good again it's semi-auto but this one does actually have a full class 3 and also a class 4 helmet this one is damaged though so you can't completely rely on it it's a little bit like having a class 3 helmet on instead after the RAM you have the choice between the werewolf kit and the rock and roll preset the werewolf has an ak101 with m856a1 and the rock and roll has an m4 which is decent with 855 i just don't think there's really any comparison between 30 pen on that kit and on this one 37 because this one deals with class 4 completely whereas m855 does not on the werewolf you do get a partially damaged class 4 it's a bit better than class 3 but not quite as good as a full class 4 and the achhc helmet which is class 4 as well and you get a headset too which is pretty good and a grenade i think this is a very balanced kit i think werewolf is pretty decent whereas rock and roll you're probably going to struggle with anybody wearing class 4 and above. After rock and roll as well there is marine 2 which is a M1A which doesn't really have that good recoil 96 and it has M62 which is pretty decent and you get a gazelle with it but I, don't, I just don't really like the grind through here so I mean if you want to look at the other presets go and look at the spreadsheet but after Lance you're also blocked this doesn't lead on to anything so I think you're better off going from werewolf down to pharaoh instead. 
Pharaoh is a relatively balanced kit with a class 5 on, but slightly damaged, so it's a bit better than class 4, but not as good as a full class 5. You get a ULAC, obviously you can be seen a bit more easily, but in most of the CQB maps, it doesn't really matter. And you get a low-ish recoil, 47, AK-74, with 7N40 bullets. This one has 7N40 in the 30 rounders. You also have a 60 rounder with BT, so you can kind of choose what you want to do. If you want the 42 damage and 42 pen, you can go with the 60. If you want the 52 damage and 44 pen, you can go with the smaller mag. Big mag is useful for wall banging and that kind of stuff fighting against the AI, whereas obviously the little mags are better for fighting against players. So from Assault and CQB, I think we are going to go to Scout next. Scout looks pretty decent to start with. You get either the MP5 with 20 rounders with AP 6.3, and this is kind of what the Scout does. You get more stims and better stims usually, as well as decent headsets, but the problem is your armor kind of sucks. This armor is borderline useless. It's like a class 1 because the packer is half health when you pick it up, so you have a completely glass cannon here, but you know, you have high RPM with this, and AP 6.3 goes through tier 3 helmets and tier 3 armor, so I actually quite liked this class. I went and pushed down this line to start with so I could get to Agent, and you have to go to Runner first, which is actually quite rough. It's the AP 6.3 in the Glock 18C, which sounds good at face value, but when you've only got 17 bullets, it's pretty much like one mag per player. So if you get grouped up on by, say, two players, then you pretty much just die after killing the first guy. You do get a nade for this one, and you get a full class 2, but this doesn't really protect you. So once you get onto Agent, I was looking forward to my class 3 armor, but this got changed, and now this one has no armor at all. You do get an MP9N, so this is the very high fire rate of 1100, but you only get 25 round mags with it and it's still ap 6.3 though so it's not too bad you get a headset but yeah armor is completely non-existent on this class now so i just don't think it really works very well another problem is that the next one that you get after this is sandman which looks really good face value you get a tac tech with 45 out of 50 so that's nearly full and you get an mpx with pretty low recoil you get a nade you get a meldone in a headset like this this class looks amazing right but the mpx has quake maker in it so when you're fighting against other people, you're basically just not going to kill them. I've talked a lot in my other videos about how leg meta is quite hard now, especially with 85 damage because of the 30% damage reduction that you get once your legs are blacked out. This makes it very difficult to actually kill people with this kit and people are going to be either headshotting you or going through your armor with some of the other presets at this level, whereas you're basically having to hit headshots exclusively. You're never going to get through the armor with Quake Maker or hit them in the legs a million times. So I just don't really like this line anymore and I don't think it's worth going down there. After this, Grumpy and Ajax are good, but unfortunately it's just super hard to get to. A SOP mod M4, which is not too bad with M995 in it, is decent with a class 4 that is partially damaged or Ajax is M995 in a scar. We saw this being used a little bit as well. It's actually okay with a HPC, which is full health. I, I much prefer Ajax because of the HPC, but yeah, it's just getting to this preset that's just really difficult. The other side is probably slightly better. Plantain, you start with a Kedder B, so although it's maybe not necessarily as good to start out with, you do get two grenades, which is pretty cool, and you get onto Vichaz after this, which is the PP19 with PST, which is perfectly good enough, and you get a 3 BTG as well with this, as well as a full class 3 armor. This one's really, really powerful. I've been killed by Vichaz a lot, and people are doing really well with it. After this, things just keep getting better with the Sawbones. You get the AK-102, which is 56 recoil, very, very good, and you get M856A1 in this. Yes, your armor is only class 3, but it is full duration ability no helmet but the gun really makes up for it to be only three layers down this is amazing and you'll kill everybody with class 4 armor on with this gun it's actually really good i think sawbones is great and this right side is a really good line to do again we're going to ignore the whistle you get an mp155 with flechette in it but it doesn't go anywhere so we're going to go down to saboteur instead which is a pp19 with pvp which has 39 pen and is also really great i don't like the armor this is effectively the same as a class 3 so this does make you a bit glass cannony and you probably are better off with something with higher pen but if you can hold your own and work with the team then maybe this one is a good one i just feel that this line and all of the scout stuff just kind of falls off as you move down the list a little bit this is kind of the same as with Triton, which is an MP5. It's not actually that great with AP 6.3 at this stage, because again, with 30 pen, it's just very difficult to get through people's armor. You've got a partially damaged class 4 on, so you're going to die very quickly. And yeah, you do get an SJ6, but I just don't think that this class really holds up for how far down it is in the list. There are some other good presets after this, though. So if you do manage to make it there, Weaver is quite decent. Um, but we're going to skip to another one, because like I don't think anybody's really going to make it here out of the normal player population. I mean, yeah, hell, some people haven't even got in yet. So we're going to move straight over to Mark. I think this right hand side it looks really really rough it depends whether you like bolt actions or not but you do get other stuff with it so yeah this one looks just like the most one but you do get the APS pistol it is full auto so if you're hitting headshots then it's not too bad and you get a scope with the PU so you can hit people at longer range so if you're on bowl you can go up the tower it kind of allows you to play in a different way information is really important in this game so you can relay this to your team if you've got some team comms or say you're playing with a five stack it can be quite good um going to cracksman you get an sv98 but you also have a clin as well so again you get kind of best of both like you get the ability to headshot somebody with this it's not bad ammo either pbm with 28 pen it's all right it really just depends about the playstyle that you want to have and what you want to do with it. 
climber, you get onto the M700 and an MP5. With no stock, this basically makes no difference. It still has a vertical recoil of 44 because the MP5 has such low recoil anyway. It hardly matters whether it has a stock or not. And you still get AP6.3. There's also, you get this um, meta suppressor on here. Kind of interesting. So you can just stick that straight on the top when you go load into the game. And so you're going to be silenced when you're going around the map, which is kind of nice. Best of the marksman class is basically DMRs. You go from a Vepa Hunter with a Monstrum and TCWSP ammo, which is pretty good, and a Packer as well, onto the Cowboy, which is an M1A and TCW as well. But this one doesn't have any armor, so you're really glass cannony in this. It depends on your playstyle. I think it doesn't really work on every map, but if you're playing a lot of Sawmill, Bowl, and Air Pit, then maybe you can use this preset. Sentry is one that is extremely good. This one has an OP SKS with PP ammo, but it doesn't go onto anything, so you're really better off going down the Echo route instead with the RFB and BCP FMJ, which is actually decent. One common theme amongst a lot of these DM markets is that even if you get a class 3, then the class 3 armor is damaged. So yeah, it's a little bit rough to use some of these, especially if you get pushed on, but you can provide a lot of information for your team and they work well if you're speaking to friends or you're using the in-game radio. I think they've reset that now to the J button, so you can speak to your other players on your team across the map. So hopefully this gives you a bit of a better idea what's working in the early game. Go and use the spreadsheet to go and check this out, especially when the game is down. But as usual, a big shout out to all my patrons and have fun in your raids. Thank <laughs> you.